Hello, 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 and welcome to Bravely Default 2. It's a tad loud. I recognize that. So let's take Master Volume down. Actually, you know what? Master Volume can stay the same. Let's turn music down. It's like 30. And sound effects to like 30. It's like, okay with this. Now, this game has been out for a while now. It's just it finally came out to like Steam and I got it as like, it was like recommended to me on Steam. So instead of getting it for the Switch or for the 3DS, I got it for Steam. I don't think I even played the demo. So anyway, uh, Bravely Default 1, long story, long story, uh, everyone except real guns for parchment. Oh, wait, like this. Oh, the ore. Okay, enemy turns come around more slowly and battles are easier, like my, okay, who want to, if you uh, enemy come around more quickly and battles are more difficult, like those who just can't help themselves. Yes. Let's do this! <laughs> Watering can only, bravely default too. Let's go, let's go to land. So it's also been like forever since I played official bravely default. Cannot be changed once confirmed. So No. See, here's the thing. I don't know if the name is for that particular character or just, like, an account name altogether. So let's just go with Margot as always, and whatever happens, it happens. Oh, we should have gone with, like, Roth. That would be a good name. Prolog, the inner ocean's call. Let's do this. Come on, here we go. Also, I'm at a different computer to record this than usual, so if it seems different, that's why. I decided to use my standing desk computer. Um, <laughs> from a little bit off breath, it's because I'm constantly moving. And can't just, like, stop. So, I have to say, so far, different graphics from the original. Well, hello, you two. Excuse me, I'm trying to take a nap. The ocean water is very comforting, you see. It's a whole thing. Oh, gosh, yes, that. No, sorry, I was... This computer only has one monitor, but I realize I have a Raspberry Pi screen that does work as a second monitor. You are on the beach. Is this what the crystal wished to show us? Oh, gosh, no, the crystals. Also, not. Nice. At a later juncture. What's that voice? It's a, no, the guy's voice, not the old man's voice. What's that voice? Okay, so so far this is new stuff. Seems interesting. Seems uh, promising.
I don't think I pressed anything yet. Gosh! <laughs> Joke's on me, it's not actually a game, it's literally just a movie. But you seem to be in an inn. You, are in you see my cursor? Nope, no cursor. Well, I like to take long naps. Okay, so that is sure. the boy. I'm just a regular sailor, I guess. Again, should have grown with Roth. Oh, well. Drifted here on the tad. I see. Then perhaps it was the crystal's will after all. Yeah, it turns out you actually went across like half the ocean just on the whim of the crystal. Hello! I have such an urge to skip through all of this. But I'm gonna do this as it goes. Not to be confused with Sir Nolas, the royal sword at man's, or the arm at man's, Ma arm of man's, whatever. Oh no, Vernon. Just, you know, a couple of folks. Oh, princess, okay. Was it sucked into, like, a giant pit in the ground? Because I've heard of that happening. Okay, adventure underway. Any key locations you need to visit in order to move the story forward will be indicated by the uh, icon. I want to start by seeing where at least. Actually, hold on one quick second. I'm going. My phone's at 24%. I'm going to leave it on my computer and see if it charges. <laughs> if you ever get confused about what you're supposed to be doing, you can always press and hold Q to check your objectives. Hit delete to close. Ooh, Phoenix Downs. That's right, that's right. Uh, Bravely Default was originally made as a Final Fantasy game. And then Final Fantasy was like, we don't want this. And then they are like, well, what are we supposed to do with this game? <laughs> so they built it uh, for themselves. Uh, give it and changed some stuff, of course. Like, characters. And... And s oh, nice map. Oh, it's the big building. Gotcha. What the? This map doesn't make any sense. Where the heck am I? Okay, well, I think those white lines are rivers. Uh, I'll say the rest later, but yeah. Wait a second. Ha! Oh, didn't do anything. Okay, I should stop moving, maybe, so much. Maybe I should go check it out. Those are actually just like tourist brochure maps. When it is now accessible, press page down to open it. Oh, pretty. Kind of hard to access a lot of stuff, but 
If you're going to build a couple of houses on a rock, I guess that's one way to do it. Vote. Home of the Spring Breeze. Halkiona. You find various helpful establishments in the villages, towns, and cities you visit on your adventure. So there are shops that sell stuff and inns to recover. Press M to view the map. Ready to get somewhere quickly, you can push and hold shift to break into a run. If you're a sort of person who's always in a hurry, you can open the menu and go to option settings to have our hero run by default. So. Oh, you can't run around like this. Customer opening into the shop. Sure, I'll go in, but first talk to Sir Okay, anyway. Uh yeah, bravely default was supposed to be Gosh, the controls are hard. It was supposed to be a Final Fantasy type game. I should really be playing this with the controller. I should have taken my little Bluetooth -y dongle, take my old PS3 controller and just In fact, Make it get an extension for the uh, headset cable. Play this game while sitting on the couch, yo, like the good old days. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know why I found that so funny. Okay, what do we have? We have a dagger. Weight plus two, physical attack 18, aim 100, crit chance 10, chance of being targeted plus one, so attack plus 18. We have some pegs. So that's what we have. This is a bit better. But we can't afford a long sword yet. But I kind of want a long sword. Even though it does lower our speed. Aim plus 99. Weight plus 5, though. Uh, I want the long sword. I want the long sword. We will sell. There we go. Oh, we don't have access to those things yet. Um, wait, we can't just unequip this? So anyway, let's talk, let's sell, uh, let's sell a phoenix down. Just so we can start off with the long sword, purchase and equip, yeah. Oh, now we're overloaded. Wait, we don't, oh, okay, we don't have enough strength for everything. And... Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this. Okay. We can go to equipment, and that's where we take stuff off. So. And being equipment lowers our stats, like, a lot, so actually taking off the hat helps. So now if I take off the tunic... Physical attack will be 41, whereas if I just take off the dagger, 39. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, I do remember playing Bravely Default, getting access to the Monk class, and basically just equip three characters with nothing, and they can do an attack for maximum damage. Uh, I think they... No, no, that's what it is. Uh... Bravely Default has two main key components to the fight, uh, to fighting. You can bra- Sure! Not a problem! I'm trying to talk about this game. 
Not much of a royal line, but sure. Only? I almost want to walk away just to get some more water. Bluetooth headset. I should get myself a Bluetooth headset. <laughs> just walk around the place, clean the apartment while this is going on. Blah, blah, blah. You want to get married? Married! The suitable match will be the stranger you found washed up on shore. I don't know why I'm being so agitated by cutscenes. Plot twist, she's gay. Nels. Benefits me in the long term. <laughs> I can almost reach my fridge. I should move my whole desk again. Put it up against that wall. Bookshelf on the right. Not have this. I think I would anyway. My phone charging. I'm afraid I have no choice but to no. respectfully decline your suggestion. What? How dare you treat my I mean King Vernon whose kind offices with such disdain? Why a match has been all but agreed already. Do you wish his majesty to look a fool? That will be quite enough for you. Horton, did you hear something? Interesting. Oh no, the crystals. Are you gonna recover them? They're giant! Hold on a second. I'm technically paying attention still. Wait, how do you have the wind crystal? I've heard such things. I think I played that. No, I played that game just not on the channel. Calamity Ganon. I mean, that would make sense. Water. Also influenced by AI, and can be influenced by Earth. And kind of influenced by fire, the sun, well, technically the moon. Not so much there. I'm sure the sun influences the ocean somehow. Wait, is that a thing? Because, like, yeah, the ocean is water element. It is influenced by the air, because, like, wind causes some matter of waves. Influenced by the earth, if there's an earthquake like out in the ocean, it ca can cause like tsunamis. Uh, yeah. When you're out and about in the field, when you oot in the boot in the fold, it's a good idea to take a look around to get a lay of the land. Option settings. When you're out in the field exploring dungeon, you can swing your sword, cut some grass, or preemptive strike. You can save a game at any time. So you can do like that. <laughs> okay, we just started. Time to do lawn work. Oh, there's another chest back there. I don't know why my voice is so phlegmy today, huh? That's just weird. Oh! We actually get stuff from cutting the grass? <laughs> Who left a tent in the grass? I know they're hard to, like, pack up and stuff, but seriously, it's an entire tent. Oh, that's almost enough for a whole other sword. 
If only we could uh, equip more equipment. Gosh, yeah, this whole not having gear on every available slot thing is really not so great. Oh gosh, it's getting dark. Hello, hat. Shoot. Whoa. What's up? What's going on? Absolutely. What is it? So are you going to say something like, I don't know how I learned to fight? Or are you going to say, hey, no, I'm a sailor. We Monsters come out of the oceans. We have to learn how to fight at least somewhat. Also, uh, sorry, uh, for the pause, I'm just setting a little timer for about... I only have the one monitor. I can't check OBS to see how far I'm in on the video. Ha! Two commands form the key components of the Bravely Sea... Of the Bravely Default series unique battle system. Brave and Default. This is what I was trying to talk about earlier. Use Default to accumulate built up power and Brave to unleash it. Brave Command is a bone offensive technique that enables you to spend Brave points or increase the number of actions you can perform in a turn. Use it to string together chains for up to four moves using an item, then attacking three times, for example. Oh, nothing. Anyway. So you possible to borrow brave points against future turns. Against future turns, they you to pile on the pressure when the time is right. Default is a powerful defensive maneuver that allows you to basically block and then get an extra brave point. So after you have to build up brave points through the use of the default command. Bravely default. You're brave and you default. Don't currently, but you can borrow against future turns to the extra actions, but it might not always be the best idea. So. My team at the end of the original Bravely Default was like three monks and like a character in just all the armor that I could get. And the monks basically had enough power to do max damage four times by quadruple, by triple braving. So brave, brave, brave. Let's see how this works. Vulnerable, vulnerable. That's not not enough to kill. Is that seriously not enough to kill? Four hits on the thing. Where's my insert key? This. You're fine. Be aware of overbraving. The key benefit of the brave command is that it lets you perform multiple actions in a single turn. But if you borrow BP against future turns, you'll end up with a deficit. And you can't do anything for multiple turns. But if you wipe out the enemy, you're fine. And if the character gets knocked out and then revived, their BP will be reset to zero. So just have three characters. So like I was saying. And someone else is going to try to take care of them. Sorry, I, didn't see you there. I like your accent. You and yours. You you so, you yeah, have three characters. Triple brave. Attack four times for max damage each hit. So, 12 times max damage. They all get knocked out by the enemy's attack. And they have an ability where every turn they have a 50% chance to revive themselves for free. You have to have one party member still alive, or else the battle will just end. So all three of them eventually come back, triple brave, attack for four times max damage, and keep going and keep going and keep going. Hello. <laughs> Elvis.
So anyway. Uh, yeah, you have, oh gosh, you have a lot of uh, magic. About 97, about 100, and I didn't get to see the rest. Okay, level 3 and level 5. Black Mage and Freelancer. So, playing through the game, you get to unlock classes, like Black Mage. Like, Elvis's is a class. I think there are, what, 10 to 20? The first one? You walk in, cast two spells. You're not even moving your mouth. So, what's he got to his head? Actually, I'm going to take these books. The lack of mouth flaps is kind of bothering me. So yeah, just have a bunch of characters fighting. If you can, it's like the game says you should default for a few turns to build up brave and then start uh, brave, and then start braving your way through. Uh, and there is a point to be made in that if you can't defeat the enemy with a triple brave. <laughs> Hurt me. Hey, hey. An asterisk. Freelancer. What do people want from me? There's a lot of story to this game. It's a lot of waiting around and stuff. But hey, I'm still alive. And I feel confident. Elvis and Adele joined the party. Uh, eat this. Drops abilities can now be viewed and managed from the menu. So, more cutscenes. How's this app opening by itself? Yes, there's a flood going on and stuff. I've always been meaning to get around to uh, 
playing the demo of this game. Just haven't done so. I am Celine. So Selena, what? Dang nabbit. What? No. No. <laughs> you mean that you won't have to get hurt? What's with all the Australian accents? Oh, you like me? Oh no. <laughs> um. Sorry. Are we gonna do more fighting? The fighting was fun. So in the first game, you couldn't just randomly swing your sword around. So when I saw like the controls menu, I was interested. The kid's not actually a kid. It's an evil person, like magically transformed into a kid because they didn't even want to take a child. Honestly, I think that the Wind Crystal is worth more than just, like, a child's life. Like, right? Gosh, if the baddie- all the baddies have to do is... She doesn't have the crystal, she is the crystal. The, it's like one, we'll threaten one child's life for you to give us the thing that we can then use to like kill thousands of people all because you wanted to save like one little kid. Now a whole bunch of little kids are gonna die. Like what? Never made sense to me. A mightier blow, you say? How about this one? I will try to fight them and they'll be like level 10. Those are interesting she sleeves. She does not have the wind crystal. Now, do as we promised and release the child. They're gonna kill the child anyway. Okay, so now that you don't have your bargaining chip anymore, it's time for us to fight. And bring it to the abandoned house north of town. Once you have done that, we will release Princess Gloria. But if you even think about bringing help from Halcyonia, well, I'm sure I don't need to tell you what would happen. Smell you later, drone guy. Princess Gloria. Wanderer monsters, they freely roam the fields, blah blah blah. If you touch one, you fight it. If you touch it, you fight it. Approach you from behind as you'll get a disadvantage, so you have to pay attention. Can't you see the words party chat or PI? Press the party chat button to view a conversation. So for example, that's a monster. 
And now we have advantage against it. Oh gosh, no. Ally turn order. The yellow bar underneath each character's HP is known as the turn gauge. Speed stat and the weight of their equipment. Actions character took the previous turns. Status effects. Okay, interesting. So it's not just like full turn base. So you can increase the character's speed by a lot. Um. Oh, God. Okay. Wasn't well, there? I remember there being a game with like a turn bar and such and such a thing where it's like base is like a thousand. Like if you play like a super fast like rogy type, you can get down to like three hundred. But there's a glitch to make it thing like one. So. You <laughs> You take like 300 turns before like the fastest of regular characters would take one. 300 turns is generally enough to uh, defeat an enemy. <laughs> Hopefully. And how best to exploit the vulnerabilities doing so enables you to do up to 1.3 times the damage you would otherwise. There are two types of vulnerability. Elements and weapons. Uh, buy a magnifying glass. Buy a few to make you battle life lot easier. Check the phone for any monster you've previously examined by using the battle info command during a fight. Does that take up time? So, you default. Okay, so, uh, oh. And fire on all. Done! Hey, you learned to treat, and you got a freelancer level up. Got no items. So, classes. Classes could be leveled up to probably around 10 or so. If you're, if you bring a character's class up to level 10, then no matter what class they take, they can take abilities from that class. Push monster from behind, you'll gain an advantage. Monster Majesty Garbon, you from behind, they'll gain an advantage. So yeah, try to sneak up from behind them. Um, miscellany examine rabbit. Do that. Um, page down battle info. So weakness to, the all weak to water? Interesting. Brave, brave, brave. Boom, 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 boom. So EXP, uh, you know, experience points, uh, job points, and pieces of gold, PG. PG, 13. joke and the game's like what a bet <laughs> I wonder if there's like things like if actually cutting down like all of the this probably is dwarf's tooth that's interesting but I make just a stupid joke like an absolutely stupid joke Okay, so we don't have, uh, you don't have any passive abilities, but. Oh, Q. C. 
and Q? What? That's weird. Uh, Q. Place the number of unopened treasure chests nearby. Oh, 22. 22 extra treasure chests? What? Oh, gosh. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Ugh, stupid hair. Okay, that's better. Uh, and then attributes. Anyway, uh, lower options, abilities, equipment. You have a broadsword and a dagger. That's cool. That's cool. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Um. There you go. Settings. Language and voice. Yep. Yep. Uh, camera controls reversed. Actually, vertical standard. Apply changes. See, like, I hit left and the screen goes to the right, which I don't like. Is it already like that, though? Horizontal camera controls. I hit... Okay, now I'm hitting left and it's going to the left. I, I was not liking that. What? I don't know. Something weird is going on. But... Oh, that's right, that's right. I almost wish it just wouldn't tell me that it's like, hey, look, you got some money. Whatever. It's fine. Um. Where's the tooth? Dwarf's tooth. What's this? Collectible resource. Sure, fine. We did not collect it. We found it in the grass. Just like a throwing knife. <sighs> Items! Okay, equipment. Oh, hey! Now you can have uh, 11 pounds of gear. Oh, that's right. This also has something um, resembling a day-night cycle. I wonder what happened if you attack like two enemies at once. If it let that happen. Okay. Here's the idea. Miscellany, examine these. Miscellany, examine. Ooh, a saga wagon. I played DDO. So. That's weak to electric. Alright. Brave, brave, brave. Party. Blizzard all, whoop, and then thunder all, and then just keep thundering. Immune to water, but that's immune to lightning. This isn't, this didn't say that they were immune to stuff. Mog is immune to sleep, what? What happens if this... Okay, cool. Okay, so Elvis doesn't get experience due to not being awake for the fight. Uh, hold on. Items. Phoenix down on you to bring you all the way back up. Uh, what's this? Party's feeling brave, so do we get, like, free, like, brave points? Okay, that's immune to water, but these two are immune to, like, electric, so let's just do this. Honestly? Boom! See, that's the power of brave. Hey, level three! We got a merman scale.
much, I made a stupid little joke. <laughs> oh, I thought there was an extra chest. But no, just yellow symbol. So what does it mean when the, it says the party's feeling brave? Because, like, yeah, you get advantage, but feeling brave, that's so, like, generic and stuff. Uh, do we have information? Okay. So the Saga Wagons. Kill those as fast as possible. Wait a second. No, there's three Saga Wagons. Kill the regular goblins. Goblin A. Perfect. Uh, thunder on all. And so this is what a large portion of the game is going to be, is just this grinding over and over and over again. Allied advantage and feeling brave. So Elvis is now out of magic. And you can totally just take this out. Hey, level 4 freelancer. Cool. Nothing new unlocked. Okay, so I don't think we can make it to that island. Takes a while to get used to camera controls. Whatever you're doing. Oh gosh, an axe! Hold on, one quick second. I want to check up on something. I mean, I want to ask a quick question. Okay, you'll become overloaded if you do that. <laughs> there's basically no point in... Uh, there's no point in just getting slightly overloaded. Either you get... Uh, either you stay not overloaded and you'll be fine, or you, at least in theory, go completely, utterly overloaded. And have like a hundred weight. Or something like. If you're going to be overloaded. Might as well be overloaded. You know. Now if I could do something with Elvis to get back. Again. There's a reason why you bring people with swords on adventures like this. Margo is close to level. I like how you can just hotkey. Done. XP 21. So, which means you should level up. Okay, nothing new, but, but. Yes, you can take this. Physical attack goes up by two. Physical defense goes up a little. Aim goes down, but it's already above a hundred, so. Okay, physical attack will go up by two. Chance of being targeted will also go up. And aim will go up by a lot. Wow. I also just kind of want you to have an axe, you know? So... Uh, quick question though, could I put, I could put sword in other hand and go like that. Uh, but let's do none for the time being so you don't be overloaded. Oh gosh, it's those random lava creatures. Why are there random lava creatures? Anyway, this game is nice, honestly. Just standing here, kind of swaying, not quite to the music. Because that's how I sway. <laughs> Hold on. PG-13, take a drink. <sighs> no, I'm literally only drinking water. Stay hydrated, y'all. It's just cold.
I like how after you after you kill an enemy, if you're still attacking, you go like they go to another enemy. Cause some games have it where they just don't. Where it's like, okay, I'm finished killing this enemy. I'm going to now finish killing this enemy and I still have three attacks left. I'm going to keep attacking the empty spot where that one enemy was. Uh, which is stupid. Because, <laughs> like, hey, it's kind of obvious. Keep attacking other enemies. So you kind of have to manually try to figure out, okay, am I going to have enough to kill this in one attack? Or should I devote an entire, like, second attack to it? Which might wind up getting wasted. Because this game make, makes it think that the characters are stupid. However, on that note, I would totally buy that kind of behavior from, like, an automaton that was, like, created to be in that such of a way. You get what I'm saying? Like, if an automaton is made and, like, put into combat, is that really worth mentioning? And it's like, hey, attack, like, so-and-so. And they just keep attacking, whatever. I don't care if, uh, if they're gone. I will keep attacking them because that was what I was ordered and I cannot think for myself. You know, like a robot or maybe a zombie. Problem monsters and waiting to battle with one up there would be a bad idea. Don't forget to say first. Okay. First thing. Items. Interesting. I want to restore your magic, but I don't have a thing for that. So instead, options? Wait, yes, options, save. We should still have time, right? Okay, game is, this video is almost over, so let's fight this one baddie. I think we attacked it from behind successfully, right? It's, a, it's an Axotol! So we don't know anything about it, but it does have a lot of weaknesses. What's this do? Interesting. What's this do? And 10% of the MP? Oh! Okay, first off, let's just examine that. Uh, see what it- okay. We don't have any of those weapons, but we do have... Wait, you can treat yourself spending 20 MP if you have more than 200 MP. Okay. Cool, Emperor. Oh, no! Why is it asleep? No. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, so when it said it was at a higher level, I thought it'd be like, okay. Let's take some actions and let's push on and let's fight this thing. Not 52 bloody thousand health. How do I get past the game over screen? Okay, I guess we just wait long enough. Uh, don't worry, we saved. We're going to reload and just avoid that thing. Next time. We're going to kill it eventually. We have to kill it eventually. Just not for a while.